Hey everybody, right here. Day 261 of my carnivore diet journey. And uh, today I want to kind of put a little bit of focus on sugar and ketones. So one of the things that I have seen a, a very good improvement on in my um, journey of carnivore here is my sugar levels. So when I started this, um, my, my sugar levels were in the high teens or low, or high 110, say 110 to 125. Um, that would put me in pre-diabetic or super early diabetic. And what I learned was that, you know, and, and really kind of paid attention to, was that I'd been pre-diabetic for at least 10 years, if not longer. So while my sugar wasn't increasing any, but it, it wasn't in a good spot. And I never thought I was like addicted to sugar. But when I started this program, I realized just how addicted to sugar I was, right? I didn't eat candy every day and I didn't eat cake and pie and all these other things. But I had soda all the time, artificial soda, but I'm still bringing in an artificial sweetener that would trick my body into thinking it has getting sugar. And then I would drink um, sugary coffee drinks. And I would eat things that I never knew had sugar in it. It's, it's amazing to me how many things in this world are made and have sugar added to it. Um, even juice drinks, like there, there's sugar in the juice already. So why are we adding more to it? But that was something I really had to understand and realize. And when I started carnivore, I was avoiding sugar. I wasn't eating clean, all meat. But what I found is a lot of my cheeses would have sugar added to it. And that's where I was really surprised, right? Because cheese is made from milk. Milk has lactose. Lactose is sugar. So it has a natural sugar in it already. And then we're adding more sugar to it. And you go to something like a really high quality mozzarella. Um, doesn't have sugar. You get a crappy mozzarella. It does have sugar. So it's almost as if they're adding sugar to... Get our bodies to crave that. Oh, I liked that one. Why did I like that one? I don't know. Oh, it's the sugar. Um, and so they can make a low quality product, add some sugar to it. Your body goes, oh, I like that. And you crave it. Um, so I've had to learn that. And while it's not been the easiest thing, um, giving up sugar, um, it's probably been one of the better things for me. Um, you know, I gave up all carbs, but simple sugars, high fructose corn syrup, standard corn syrup, even cane sugar, everything is gone. So that's something that's been really important to me. And to know where I'm at, uh, I bought a, uh, a meter, right? Like a, a, a diabetic would test their blood, get their glucose number. So I bought a, a meter and test it. Now, when I first started, I was testing a few times a day, like three times a day. And this was pretty much from day one of me starting carnivore. Uh, I'd test in the morning, I'd test in the afternoon, I'd test later in the day. Um, just to kind of see where things were at. And one of the things um, that I learned through both my own experience and other people kind of bringing it up to me a few times even if you have no sugar, but you eat a super ton of protein, your body can convert protein, right? It can convert that steak and everything into sugar um, or into glucose in your blood, at least, right? I, I shouldn't say that it converts it to sugar, but that's what your body does with it. It goes into glucose and then that's where you're at. So um, that was something I had to learn. And in looking for meters and thinking about what I was doing, one of the things that you get with carnivore is ketosis, right? 
And ketosis is that state where your body is burning fat for energy as opposed to using uh, sugar and carbohydrates that are readily available. So get into that point where they call it fat adapted and you're, you're now, your body is now adapted to burning fat for fuel and everything else. Um, if you keep those carbohydrates out, sugars out, you can pretty much stay in ketosis for quite some time. Um, people doing the keto diet, they allow some carbohydrates, right? Um, and you can still be in ketosis with some carbohydrates, but you still want to stay away from the very, very basic sugars and things like that because it hurts it. Uh, alcohol hurts it, right? So I know this. So I know that if I have a drink, the next day my ketones are probably going to be low. But what I did was I bought a meter that did both. And, you know, I've, I've always talked about, I shouldn't say always, for a long time I talked about my weight, my sugar, and my ketone number every single day. And um, I kind of got away from tracking those all the time. So this week I've been trying to be on top of that. To a large extent, it's to get myself back into the habits that I was doing when I first started carnivore and lost a tremendous amount of weight very quickly. Um, but it's also because I want to make sure that... Um, I'm, I'm doing the right thing, right? So over the weekend, I ate tons and tons of protein. I ate um, no sugars, no carbs. And when I tested my ketones on Monday, I was down at like 0.5, which is basically the baseline. Most anybody is going to have 0.5 as a ketone number. Um, you start getting into ketosis when you're at one, right? Real ketosis. And then once you get to about a three or four, that's where it's like, whoa, something, you're probably not getting enough fresh fat and everything because your body's burning its fat stores uh, and generating these ketones. So there's a fairly small range that you want to be in. But unless you're measuring it on a regular basis, you don't know where you're at and how it affects you. Um, there are a few things that for me, my personal experience has been that when I'm in ketosis, I can taste it. Um, like if I, if I burp, I have a taste, a smell, a flavor that comes up with the burp and I'm like, Oh, that's kind of nasty. Um, and I'll check my numbers and my ketones are really high um so i couldn't tell you how high i just know that they're there so that's why i use the meter so i started back with the meter trying to do it every day now again and this morning i was i was pleased because my ketones were at one which is low level ketosis nothing fancy but my sugar was back to 88 so on Monday when I did this, my ketones were at like 0.5. My sugar is at 127, which is a measurement that would put me in a category of diabetic if it was repeated. Um, I ate a ton of meat. Ton, ton. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, it's late. It's 11 o'clock again. Uh, and I've been working hard on cabinets tonight. So... Um, so my body was converting proteins into glucose in the, in the bloodstream. That's what I was measuring. And um, it's, it's good for me to get back to it because I confirmed again what I was told and I kind of knew. Super, super heavy, 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 heavy protein loads are going to throw off my glucose number. But if that's what it's off from, I'm not worried about it because that's the right thing for my body to be doing. And I'm not eating junk. So if, if I was starting out carnivore again, I would do the exact same thing. I would get this meter. I would measure ketones. I would measure glucose every single day. Um, and I would measure my weight every single day. So I'd have these different data points to know where I'm at and how I'm performing. And that's 
really what I'm trying to get back to because I've been a little bit lax with uh, doing the meter every day uh, for the last probably two months. And so get back to it every day. The hardest thing is for me to remember to actually do it at home because when I go to work, I unpack my bag and I put my meter right on my desk right in front of my monitor. So all day long, I kind of see it there. So I do my tests. But when I'm at home, I don't unpack my bag, right? I, I just pull my laptop out and that's it. So it's, uh, it's different. But a, uh, it's something I need to do. And it's something that, you know, if you're starting out carnivore, it's something you can look into as well. Um, and yeah. So sugar today was at 88, which I'm super happy about. Ketones were at one. And uh, my weight is down a little bit as well. Uh, 233 and change. I forget the, the decimal position, but 233. Uh, so getting back um, down to that 100 pound mark. Uh, started at 332.6. So 232.6 is that 100 pound mark. If I can get back down to 226, um, that was my lowest point of this whole dieting thing. Just before I went on, went to surgery, I hit 226. So I'm excited to get back to that. But at least getting into the 220s is going to be good. And who knows, maybe that's, maybe it's tomorrow or maybe it's the next day. Um, food today was still carnivore clean. Uh, bacon, uh, ate bacon around 1130. And I've been doing, I, I always say a pound because I cook a pound of bacon, but I only eat three quarters of a pound. I give <coughs> about a pound or about a quarter pound to my wife, right? And I'm just saying that by strips, right? The pack that I get is about 16 strips. Um... 14 to 16 strips, depending on the thickness and those. Um, but I give her four, five pieces of bacon, and then I eat the rest. So it's about a quarter. And uh, yeah, that's what I ate for breakfast. No lunch other than that. I mean, that was at 1130. And then for dinner, I had gyro meat. Um, now, gyro meat is delicious, and I love it. Uh, it's got seasonings and stuff in it. I don't know it. Everything that goes into the gyro meat that I eat, uh, I get it from our local um, Greek restaurant. It's fantastic food. Um, but with the cabinets all torn apart, I have no sink in my kitchen right now. Um, so I, uh, I can't cook. I can't clean dishes and all that. So we just order food in. And that's what I ate tonight for dinner. So it's been great. Um, haven't been hungry, but I've also been very, very busy. Um, I sat down long enough tonight to eat dinner and then wait for the dishwasher to end because I had to turn the water off. Um, but really happy with, with how things are going this week. So I will end my rant tonight. Um, rant, ramble. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, again, comments are, are great. And uh, what's, what's super nice is they've been very positive. So um, please keep them coming. I, I do enjoy it. And with that, I'll talk to you tomorrow.